We are back in Rainia's kitchen, so let's get started. Bready, set, go. <laughs> Bready, set, go, amaretto bread pudding, <laughs> yeah. just in time for New Year's Day. Okay. This is a great, great pudding that you can have as a dessert, you can have it for brunch, you can sneak it when nobody's looking. Okay. But what you need here are three eggs that you delightfully cracked for me, thank you. You're welcome, and then you're A cup and a half of sugar. Up. Okay. That's it. Beautiful. Boom. That, that All was right. easy, okay. That's so easy, it's not, not a big and deal. And this bread's been soaking for an hour An so? hour, and this is challah. Oh, And it's yum. a whole loaf of challah that I cut into two inch cubes. Okay. And I soaked it in one quart of half and half. Mm -hmm. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, since this is amaretto, mm. I'm going to add in here two tablespoons mm, getting that sort of, almond of a pure almond extract. I love it. Exactly. So I'm going to mix that in here. And then you just pour all of this goodness in here. But let me mix this before you add those okay, in. Okay, yeah, I've got my mix in over here. Okay. It looks like some sliced so Add all of this. I, you can butter this with two tablespoons of butter, or you can use a nonstick baking spray. But you need a 9 by okay. 13 pan. Now add your raisins. And cup put them and in a here. half. Mm -hmm, cup and a half. You know, Boaz, if you wanted, you could do dried cherries. Oh, that sounds good. Or you could do a mixture of the golden raisins and dried cherries. Oh, that's nice. Almonds, you okay. want you want to do the um, slice, not the slivered. One and a half cups. Have your oven preheated 325 degrees. Okay. Pour this mixture into that vessel. Okay. Now we're really putting it together, you yes, might say. Yes, and what you want to do then. You see, because it's a bread pudding. <laughs> I got it, thank you. This wasn't funny, okay, <laughs> now I got it. <laughs> then, so one hour okay. at 325, All un right. uncovered. We need sauce. Right. I have in here a whole, I think six, a whole stick of butter. Okay. I have a whole stick of butter here. And I probably should use a mitt because I'm doing this over a double boiler. Do you know what that means? Oh yeah, you have water the, in there. Right, 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 okay. right. And you have to whisk, 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 whisk this. See this together? Right. Okay. And that's the confectioner sugar in that's there. That's powdered sugar, a cup of that. Okay. Now take that's amaretto, quarter cup of that. You and this pour is just that. to sip on? Oh. No, okay, no. put that <laughs> in put there slowly. In okay. Go ahead. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Mix, 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 mix. And then we're going to take this off the heat. All right, move that aside. And now I have in here an egg. And I'm going to slowly add the egg in here. This is okay. just hot Do enough. Help? Yes, do you mind? Now you can go ahead and put that in. One whole beaten egg. It's hot enough to cook the egg. Keep on going. Okay. And now you have your amaretto sauce. And by doing this, your egg actually in its pasteurized cooks. You want to serve this warm. Okay. And put it here, mm -hmm. but the sauce is Ooh. what, in my opinion, makes it. Amazing. Gosh, I'm excited. Ready or not, is here we go. Ready or not, here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I, the, the oh my that's goodness. so good. And you know, I want to tell everyone, make a double batch of the mm. sauce. Honestly, you'll use it. Yeah, very good tip. This is delicious. Oh, I'm just glad you like it, honey. <laughs> Happy New Year. Mmm, I love that suggestion. You need double sauce. Double sauce mm -hmm. is great. I can't, I was sniffing as I was looking at it, thinking maybe if I sniff hard enough, I can smell it. I just want to <laughs> smell what it must smell like. It looked like it smelled good. Yeah. It sure did. Yeah, for a copy of today's recipe, go to pittsburghtodaylive.com. We will have it posted for you there.